Arizona, June 2nd, 2016. A five foot wide rock hurdles towards the earth. It's moving at over 40,000 miles per hour. And as it streaks overhead, it lights up the sky. In the very early morning hours, an asteroid came screaming into the Earth's atmosphere far faster than a rifle bullet. There was a fireball that lit up the red rocks all around us at night. It was bright enough to burn out cameras on the ground from NASA that were watching for fireballs. The asteroid is just seconds away from impact, and major damage seems inevitable. Dude, did you see that? But the asteroid never makes it to the ground. Why? We do have a natural barrier against at least small asteroid impacts. And let me give you a hint about what that is. The air around us seems too tenuous to actually defend against a threat from space. But in fact, the atmosphere is sort of the last line of defense against asteroids. One day, our planetary protectors will be ready to save us from asteroid strikes. Until then, we'll have to rely on the Earth's built-in defense system, the atmosphere. We know for a fact that our atmosphere acts like a shield because space rocks come to Earth every day. Some of them are tiny, some of them are a bit larger, but what's happening is that as they enter the atmosphere at high speed, the friction burns them up. Even though the top layers of the atmosphere are very thin, compared to the vacuum of space, they're extremely dense. As rocky asteroids hurtle through the atmosphere, friction and air pressure can heat them to over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The larger the asteroid, the longer it takes to burn up. And for these larger rocks, the effects can be dramatic. If there's a rock that's big enough that it doesn't burn up very quickly, we call that a bolide. And as the bolide falls through the atmosphere, it creates a spectacular show called a fireball. In February 2013, the town of Chelyabinsk in Russia had its own fireball when a 60-foot wide space rock barreled through the sky. This asteroid was bigger than a school bus. And it traveled at 11 miles per second. It got super hot, broke up into small pieces. Those pieces then ran through the atmosphere. When all of that vast energy of motion of this rock was converted into light and heat, it exploded. The Chelyabinsk meteor is the largest natural object seen entering the atmosphere in over 100 years. It explodes 12 miles above the Earth's surface with the power of 30 nuclear bombs. The blast causes over 1,500 injuries and damages 7,000 buildings. But if it wasn't for the protective shielding of our atmosphere, the results would have been far worse. The problem is, the atmosphere can only protect us from rocky and rubble pile asteroids up to around 100 feet wide. And there is something else much more dangerous to consider, metallic asteroids. If you had a, a rocky asteroid hitting or a rubbly rocky asteroid hitting, it wouldn't make it to the ground. An asteroid that's around 100 feet across would actually blow up in the sky. But if a 100 foot metallic asteroid were to hit, first of all, you wouldn't have much warning. Uh, it would hit the top of the atmosphere and then it would hit the ground about a second later, causing an enormous explosion that would open up a crater that would be about a mile across you'd have a, a flattened ruin of uh, remnants of buildings, uh, millions uh, dead from the shock wave that would be radiating up, and a layer of dust falling back down over the next minutes and hours. 
The metallic asteroid punches through the atmosphere because it's too hard for friction and air pressure to break up completely. So it slams into the ground in a catastrophic explosion. Metallic asteroids could be our planetary protector's greatest foe. But, turns out, the Earth could have another built-in defense. One of the things that is sure is that we will be hit by an asteroid or comet again. It may not happen for millions of years, but it will happen. And on that day, the thing that will differentiate between it just being a very bad day and it being a global catastrophe is location, location, location. Some regions of the Earth could actually reduce the damage done by a killer asteroid. How do we know that? Dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs had a very bad day. They had the bad luck to be wiped out by an asteroid impact. We thought we knew the full story, but researchers have revealed something astonishing. If the asteroid had hit the Earth just minutes later, dinosaurs may still roam the planet today. But how? This object hit right at the Yucatan Peninsula. It caused an incredible tsunami that flooded North America, but it also threw a lot of sulfates into the air. The six-mile-wide asteroid landed in shallow seas in what is now the Gulf of Mexico. It vaporized rocks in the seafloor of the continental shelf. The impact blasted out trillions of tons of gases into the atmosphere, triggering catastrophic climate change. 70% of all life on Earth became extinct, including the dinosaurs. The thing that's kind of tragic is that if the Earth had rotated just a little bit more when that impact hit, it would have been in deeper ocean, and there wouldn't have been all of that vaporized rock and sulfur. Our planet spins at 1,000 miles an hour. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by ocean. With a little luck, the dinosaur destroyer could have struck in deeper water. Had it hit somewhere else, it likely would have just caused a big splash, which certainly would have been devastating, but not as devastating as the one that actually killed the dinosaurs. And, and if the dinosaurs hadn't been killed, it's not clear we'd be around to have this TV show. <laughs>